This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Like most, I stumbled across minimalism during its mainstream rise in internet popularity. And although it piqued my interest, mainly the aesthetics, if we're being honest, at the time, I didn't quite completely understand it. I would outwardly question things like, why would someone choose to live with so little while simultaneously stating how much I loved the way this lifestyle looked? Wow. I love the way that looks. Yeah, let's save that too. Okay, you caught me. <laughs> Pinterest has heavily influenced my perception of minimalism. Well, it used to, at least. Not so much anymore. See, the term minimalism gained its initial popularity in the 1960s due to a handful of flourishing artists innovators, if you will, linked to that of conceptual art. Now, aesthetically, minimalist art offers a highly purified form of beauty, order, uh, simplicity, and harmony, much like the mainstream minimalism we see today spread across our homes and especially on Pinterest. So you're probably wondering, how did I end up on this side of the fence? Why try minimalism, giving its continuous uptick in popularity and vast array of meanings? Well, why not? And I've been telling myself that I was going to do this for quite some time, right? For, for a few years now. And um, I thought, you know, why not? I'm going to pull the camera out. I'm going to vlog it and I'm going to make it happen. So today I am about to, yes, turn this way, get some light here. There we go. I'm going to turn. Today I am going to purge my closets. As you can see, I just have entirely too much stuff. Let's come over here to this one. Look at this. And I don't wear any of this stuff anymore. See, five years ago, I gave in and tried a seemingly impossible task of decluttering my closet. Years and years of accumulating trends, blowout sales, employee discounts, and false social status was standing in the way of me moving one step closer to minimalism. So I thought. <laughs> Let's just say reality hit me much harder than I was prepared for. Little did I realize that donating old clothes would only scratch the surface revealing so much more that I've yet to learn, experience, and grow from at the time. So I kept digging. Now, if I was to sit here today, given every decision I've made regarding my minimalist journey and summed up my experience so far, here's what I'd say. Number one, it takes time to reduce mindfully, and that's okay. One major thing I've learned on this journey so far that Pinterest could not teach me is that reducing clutter in your life is a process and it's not something to rush or to just do because it's popular. Like anything you do in life or with your life, you make that decision based on hard facts and solid whys. If you don't know why you're doing something, then why are you doing it? See, embracing the time it may take you to achieve your clutter-free goal, or in this case, my own personal goal, was a hard pill to swallow. In a world that thrives on instant gratification, anything that could potentially take longer than expected is sometimes not good enough. But I've learned to embrace the journey, and I can honestly say it's been worth it. Number two, minimalism in real life is not the same thing as it is online, at least exactly anyway. I mentioned earlier how Pinterest used to heavily influence my perception of minimalism. Seeing the aesthetics and simplicity, the harmony between colors and space was addicting. So much so that early on, I found myself trying to mimic what I saw because it was everywhere. And if I didn't have that, then I must not be minimalist enough, right? See, minimalism in real life is just that, real life meaning it's not going to be picture perfect all the time, but if done intentionally, it can and will simplify your life. And I can say this with confidence because not only have I experienced it, but I've also shared it across this YouTube channel, through conversation on my podcast, even with my words written on my blog. Speaking of blogs, I have one. As a poet and a writer, how could I not, right? Well, I've been sharing bite-sized content over on my blog for a few months now as a way to share more of my experience and guidance on this journey through life and minimalism. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. 
Now, I do have to give a quick shout out to Squarespace for making my website and blog super easy to manage and update. If you're not familiar, they're an all-in-one platform that does just that helps you build a beautiful, easy to manage website or blog. You can track your analytics and easily make updates based on that data without skipping a beat. Plus their templates give you the perfect starting point so you can focus your time on what matters. If you're interested in building your own websites or blog, then definitely check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Ronald L. Banks to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, the last idea that i like to share with you in regards to my experience with minimalism is that the benefits I've experienced so far have outweighed my expectations. What I mean by this is early on, my expectations were simple, to clear the clutter in my closet and on the bookshelf in my living room. I wasn't expecting this to challenge me the way it did in other areas of my life. Not only have I experienced the benefits of having a clutter-free home, but I'm also experiencing the benefits of living a clutter-free life, mentally, emotionally, relationally, financially. See, if you're sitting on the fence and you're not sure if you should cross completely over into the depths of minimalism, then I don't blame you. At first, I was unsure also, but with time and an understanding of the things I wanted to change in my life, I decided to give it a try and I'm definitely happy I did. I hope my experience inspired you in some way, and if it did, let's continue this conversation in the comments. Always remember to stay true to you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.